Hey everyone, Kevin from stltechtalk.com here to talk to you today about the latest update for the Android launcher called Action Launcher, uh, currently available on the Google Play Store and developed by Chris Lacey. Um, Action Launcher was up Updated today to version 1.5.0 and Chris has added a very wonderful feature that I think a lot of people are really going to enjoy and it's really going to change the way that you interact with your Android device. Unfortunately this new feature called shutters will only work on Android devices running 4.1 and up um, Android Jelly Bean um, as they call it so if you only have ice cream sandwich uh, you're stuck on a device that hasn't gotten the Jelly Bean upgrade um, unfortunately you're not going to be able to use this new feature uh, due to Android API restrictions uh, but anyway let's talk about this new shutter feature that was added today what shutter does is it helps people keep from cluttering their home screens with uh, numerous widgets for example not everybody wants to have you know multiple widgets on their home screens you know for a calendar app I like having a widget that's that's just me um, but here is what shutters implements simply by adding an app to your home screen and if it has three horizontal bars if you simply swipe up on it it opens up the widget for example here's the Gmail app and it becomes fully scrollable messaging same thing scrollable and here's the Google Plus and you can you know use the widget the way that the widget it, way, the way the widget works it, it's just very nice how you can simply still have what looks like the regular icon you know shortcut for the app and then simply scroll up and boom it opens up the widget that is that is very very nice Chris if you re, if you watch this you should be really proud of yourself um, one of the other nice features that action launchers implemented um, do, I mean a lot of launchers has the typical folder for example here's a cloud folder that I created and it and I have just have a Google Drive box and Dropbox input in there what action launcher is implemented previously is a feature called covers what covers does is it allows you to take multiple apps put them in a folder and if you want you can just view a single tap and open the app that shows first if you want to see what's inside there you can swipe up and you can you know see which different ones are available if you want to select a different one uh, there's just so again that's it's one of those Android customization things that really makes me like Android so much uh, you can just do so many different things with that um, one of the other nice features that I know I've never shown before with Action Launcher, and this has been out since uh, the app first released, is you know the quick access to viewing your installed apps and just how fast you can sc scroll to you know select your app, or if you just want to select a specific letter and find various things. It it just it just works really well. Uh, it's very custom with many different display settings you can have as many home screens as you want up to five so you can have anywhere from one to five currently just on this setup I'm just running two um, you can set your default home screen now uh, you can change your grid dimensions how many rows and how many columns uh, again there's just there's just numerous little customization things that Chris has input into this and he will actually give some nice little tutorials you know this is the intro whenever you first install it and first you know open action launcher you get to see all the different things how it explains what shutters are how to use the quick search bar and again there's Chris that's how you can follow Chris, Chris on Twitter um, good developer and a very solid solid launcher I definitely recommend it um, so uh, again this is Kevin from stltechtalk.com please if you like this video if you like this channel um, you know click like 
you know, give it a thumbs up. Uh, that helps me out. Subscribe to the channel. Leave comments, suggestions, you know, any critiques in the comment section below. Uh, make sure to find us on Facebook, Google+, Twitter. Uh, just do a search for STL Tech Talk. And uh, make sure to check out our website, www.stltechtalk.com. Again, this is Kevin. Thanks for watching.